you so much for coming back to our sort of beekeeping channel. Um, thank you for it's been a lovely sunny Hertfordshire again. Behind me we've got the bees in the um, long hive. If you recall, um, this is going to be the third of the swarm uh, follow-up from the swarm. The first episode was the swarm itself. The second was the inspection the day after, which was last week. Today is the ninth day from the swarm, eighth day since we actually looked in um, and checked up on the actual bees. It's Sunday the 24th of April and it's a lovely glorious sunny day. It's a bit cooler than it was last week, uh, which is probably one reason why they swarmed. And it's about 16 degrees, 61 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees uh, centigrade. So today we're going to go in and have a look. Now, if you recall a quick pricey um, from the last video uh, in the inspection, when we went through the hive where the, the bees swarmed from, they did not have, I couldn't see any signs of any queen cells in there at all. So what I'm going to do, I did see eggs, so there's a very good chance that um, the, the, the um, bees that were left decided to try and make some emergency queen cells from those. So what we want to do is have a look in that and we'll look at that hive first. So we want to see if there's any emergency queen cells being sort of made. If there aren't, uh, I'm not going to panic at all because what I'm going to do is go back to the one where the queen, uh, where we got the swarm and put her into this side. Uh, that's the east um, facing um, part of the long hive rather than the west. And in there, I'm going to try and find a frame with quite a lot of eggs. Make sure, obviously, the queen isn't on there. And uh, so we'll, if we do find her um, on that, we'll just put her aside until we've moved it. And what we're going to do is take uh, a frame of eggs, uh, probably uh, brush away a few of the, uh, the sort of bees on there. They, they should still be accepted because um, if there's no queen in the other one, because they are related. And what we will do is just take a frame of eggs and plonk it in there and take a frame back out of there um, just to, and put it in there in with the new queen. Um, so we that way we'll give the bees a chance to actually make a queen cell if they haven't already done so. If I do see that they've already got um, sort of their queen cells being done, I'm not going to be worried. That was, it's, I, that's it. I'm going to stop the inspection pretty much at that point. I'm not going to be bothered. Uh, so long as I can see queen cells being happening, even if there's more than one, I'm going to leave them all, let them um, sort of literally fight it out when they come. Um, whoever emerges first will probably go around and exterminate and get, get rid of the other uh, potential queens uh, who will compete with her. So that's what I want to do on that one. Um, I did put in some frames into both of the hives and so what I want to do is make sure that both hives they are drawing out on those new frames that I put in which if you recall are as black plastic which are wax coated so that was also giving him both lots of colonies a good sort of level of um, sort of um, something to do um, and to expand the hives as well so I'm not concerned about any swarming happening in the near future at all because of that so let's dive in so quick here we have a look at the hive which we've been swarmed from, see if we can find any signs of uh, queen cells and things. Uh, but if it isn't anything, we'll move a frame of eggs over. So that's all we're going to do today. And on the other one is just make sure that everything's okay and we are still seeing uh, the queen laying. We saw her last week, so I don't see any reason why she shouldn't be. Okay, let's put our hive suit on. Okay, so here we are. Let's open up the hive. Um, this is the one, as I recall, that actually um, the bees swarmed from last week. So we got the syrup in. If I just have a quick look, so two and one sugar. Ants have found it, but it's pretty empty. So they've been good, and we can see the bees are actually in there. So there's still a trace of that at the moment. So I will clean it up, and depending on how it goes, I will make sure that they've got um, some more in there. Um, so let's dive in. So first of all, as of these lovely great long hives, um, the advantage of these are you can just move them along and the frames will be what we need to. They're very quiet and docile. As always, just checking on the top, make sure the queen's not there and remove this little bit of burr comb that is on top. Mm -hmm. And put that at the front. Right, just to have a look really docile very very quiet it is towards the end of the day just down here there's actually a bee with lots of pollen on so at the moment we've got quite a good flow of nectar on uh, but because I'm trying to grow these bees and expand them um, so that we can actually have a crop of honey later this year again just checking on the this board no bee no, no queen in there not that I'm expecting any um, 
there wasn't any last yet last <laughs> week uh, so it doesn't mean I might have missed it and um, I will keep an eye out just in case there is a virgin queen so this is one of the new frames uh, right at the end so if we, there's some building that'd be great but if not I won't be surprised I and mean, it doesn't seem to be anything in here just look ever so slightly you can see here and by the way guys as I said this is a our uh, and for those who want to see there's a drone so we know that she uh, um, there's a chance that any queen will be um, they have a chance of being fertilized so check there there's a little cluster nope nothing yet so as I mentioned before this is a uh, family bee ch channel that's all and today we're honored to have my father here how are you dad very well good okay it so this is looking first, really good i must admit first good. time for uh many years that you've sort of probably been looking into a hive uh, except for yeah, my yeah, brother right. maybe uh, uh, in uh, uh, melbourne australia australia so he uh, keeps bees there brian's brother he's got a big apiary okay there. so just having a quick look this is one of the stores absolutely packed any little last little bit left they are filling up with nectar so um, just again just doing a cursory look just to make sure that there is no uh, virgin queen in there. This is another one of the new frames I put in um, because it's not at the end. Hopefully there's a bit, bit more building on this comb. Ooh. Come, have a Ooh, I, I obviously didn't put that in properly. So I need to make it up but I'll put that quickly on the side. And make that up. As I said, the good and the bad. We do show you everything on this channel. And there we are. Come on, Let's let these ladies go. So I don't want to squash any. And then here, there we go. And we'll just turn it upside down. So there is quite a bit more building. I will quickly show you. I obviously forgot to put a nail in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably don't want to. Once they, once they get there, they will wax it up, and uh, I'm sure that will be fine. But yeah, there's a bit of building particularly on that side so it is happening and they do need to do that and they're even sort of capping on the top um, of that frame on the next one you've got some I'm just putting in my hand down at the bottom just to make sure that bottom doesn't fall out we take the brood minder sensor um, out nothing unusual has been happening on the sensors in the last week when I've been monitoring that so and on here okay got quite a few drone cells on here lots of the cat brood and potentially a small queen cell which I will show you just now just there so I will leave that but it's not a normal sort of queen cell I will show you do see that top right, right up top. Oh, that one yeah yeah mm. and here all those lava that we saw last week are all being kept pretty much so, so. this is a bit lighter and this had a lot of uh, brood that was um, emerging last week and I've filled it all with, with nectar no looked at some drone cells again a few drones on here but you can see there they've absolutely backfilled it with nectar so it, uh, it does make me feel it oh there's also yep I think my father was trying to point out there there's actually quite a few queen cells here one here and also here and also here so I'm not going to be concerned at all oh and here's one a little Queen or a little cell uh, worker emerging down at the bottom. So that's so, it. Just yeah, so the point is trying to move them now. No, so, it? so I won't move any no. eggs in here. No. So there's at least we've seen there four potential queen cells. So Couple they're doing what we would had hoped, and doesn't mean we'll see won't see any more. And yep, got one, two, three, four on this frame as well. So they have been working rather hard so there, there won't be any queens in here again i will show you oh five this is the best one so far you can see just here there's a queen, lovely queen cell there 
and also at the bottom if I turn them around you can see there's a few on there so I'm not going to be too concerned now if I was really wanted to make lots of and uh, I could potentially do a split with these and put a bit one of these frames and some into my my other colony here and so I'm gonna I'm an arm about that but if I do think about whether I do do a split and if I do I obviously will do it because they've got natural queens happening there this is a um, emerging brood uh, no it's all brood and one at the bottom one queen cell again down here uh, so all capped so I've, I've got no qualms that they are going to be um, queens um, emerging from here but all of these what was emerging brood last week they've just backfilled completely there's some lots of new pollen in here but also uh, yeah. so I don't really want to go too much further I think, I think I'm just gonna leave these uh, ladies here and then we're going to have a look at the um, other um, bees just, just, just up to um, curiosity I'm just not gonna move that one because I can see that's just emerged um, lots of what was the lava um, that we saw last week those are just capped so nothing really happening there. I just want to check how this is actually you know they're starting to pull this as well this this frame is actually happening oh this is also coming undone I obviously didn't make these frames very well so okay back again all repaired uh, just used some longer tacks this time but I did does make me just want to just check this last one again make sure that this one is okay I'm sure once they do all the building uh, I'm just going to shuffle this along, this was just stores last time so there shouldn't be anything, any activity in there and this frame yep it seems to be holding together but look at that, all of those pollen, this is the first frame up by the entrance and look at all that, those bees with pollen on so they're definitely working there you are now, watching them come in yep and so all had two bags of pollen so just as a quick trace even this frame this hive absolutely no concerns that it will um, have a queen i'm going to do a quick um and ah do i do a split into the other one and i'm very very tempted to do that so i've got three colonies um and i could take a frame or two out of the other colony as well so i think I think we're going to do it. So I'm going to first of all make sure that's got queen cells on it. So I'm going to quickly pause and get the other one ready because all I'm going to do is transfer it over over here. Okay, so we're now going to. Um, I've decided to do this split because we've got a, a good sort of seven or eight queen cells in here. This is going to be just for comb. This is the flow hives for the actually sort of flow honey, so liquid honey. So what I'm going to do is take advantage of the fact that these bees have made emergency queen cells. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five in there. I'm going to rotate it around. Six in here actually. Uh, six queen cells in here. I'm going to take three from here and I'm going to take three from the other uh, colony. But I'm going to have to shake off uh, just be cautious some of the bees just to be sure and I want to make sure there's at least one or two <laughs> with lots of stores so I know there's on there I can see quite a few queen cells this one was uh, yes one queen cells drones and lots of brood so I'm going to take that over here as well there they're gonna have that brood next to all the queen cells I'm gonna take this new frame that we put in last week so I will top up I won't do a video of me just putting new frames into here there we are and so that's three we might do a fourth uh, from here as well so the court, this is just mainly stored. It is. So that's fine. I will put that all over in here as well. By the entrance. 
that we went by the entrance, full of stores. You want some new new ones now, bro? No. So we're going to move these over. And then, there we are. So that's got four frames in from this hive. And then what I'm going to do is just move this one over. And then what I will do is add some frames. I'll come back and I will add some new frames to this. So I want to keep those there. Let those ladies do what they need to. I've opened up the entrance on the new hive as well. Oh, one, one. Let's do the, move this here for now. So it's quite exciting considering it just over a week ago I had one colony. Now all of a sudden I'm going to have three. So I will be putting feed on all of these. So put that there. There we are. Yeah. Oh, I've got the blue binder. Means I have to get my other, my third sensor, which I haven't even opened up yet, and put it in the new hive. So that will go in there. And there we go. Put this one in here. Okay, so now this is the hive which last week um, we put the queen and the swarm in. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Oh, there's quite a few ants on here. Now we'll put a bit more jelly. Um, petroleum jelly um, on the legs to just move that out of the way and just check the game this is the one that had the queen so I'm just checking that there is no queen nothing on the end on the crown board again just remove the sensor mm -hmm. set out of the way so in this one we put in six new frames last week and not that I'm expecting much on that. I mean, as I just put that in the in this frame here, yeah. something that I will need to do. As I said, I'm not too bothered about the pheromones and all that. There's no queens in that one, and also uh, this, they were they all related. Just this time, not just over a week ago, they were all living together, so they'd be familiar with the thing. You can see them nicely starting to draw out on that as well. They've even as they draw in the comb, they're actually filling it up with with honey. So, mm -hmm. so hopefully, if there's any queen cells in here, we obviously do not want to have queen cells in this one. This is lots of stores. Oops, in there. No queen on this, but I wouldn't expect her to be on the one with lots of stores. She's still laying, and we could see. Um, last week some of the frames that I moved across into this but left in the other one were very newly laid eggs and as a consequence oh look how lovely that is how beautiful that new uh, comb that's been drawn there and again they're backfilling so we've got a mixture you can see here very white um, uh, which is normally coming from rape um, in this area which is a brassica as well as the sort of different sort of yellow wax, sort of white yeah. and yellow mm. wax. It, uh, it looks, it looks like it really filling it nicely. Mm. So they are, what I wanted to do and see is that they are working and drawing out those frames. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm hoping for a very good season. This is another one just full of stores. And, and I can even see eggs in here. So. This is the advantage of the black plastic. No queen on here, but I can see eggs. Not every single cell, but I don't know if you can actually see in there, but quite a few of those cells are just eggs. Yes. Mm. There's a look. Real advantage of having this black uh, plastic, and they stand out like a sore thumb, literally. This one is another new frame, as is the one afterwards. But I can see they've done lots of drawing on this. So keeping it really strong. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of eggs. She's been manic. It, virtually every cell in this that frame on that side has got eggs. She's even done some on this side. So she's desperate to lay. So if I do that side there. Yeah. 
certainly is, yeah. isn't it? She's desperate to lay, so yeah. she's literally saying, come on, draw up the comb, I'm going to lay in it straight away. So she, she's obviously she's carrying them to get them going. She's a busy lady. So I might even, if I don't see, there's a eggs in this one, I may even put some eggs, a frame of these, in on the other one. Definitely no queen on this. What I want to do, I'd rather find her, know which frame she's on, and then come back. But I might take one of those frames and put them in the in the new one. This has got lots of kept, uh, beautiful kept shells. I thought I, oh, there's a little queen cup. Nothing in it, but I will just destroy that. Don't necessarily need that. And. Where is she? Yes. Oh, and another queen cup on this side. Again, nothing in it. So, let's destroy that. But we can see some lava. Yeah, yeah. Yes. over here. Yep. So, just over here. So, they were probably the eggs from last week that we saw. Uh, but still, no queen. Got three. Remember, this is a 2021 queen local here only seven miles away from Hertfordshire Bee Supplies and uh, lots of young little larvae of a number of different stages considering this is one that they only started drawing last week still don't see it and again also in here eggs and larva of different yeah. stages so you can she see in one of the last two frames so yep she could be doing a runner towards the entrance so that again could be another frame I might put into the new thing because if they join this rate I've got no qualms that with the queen laying she'll be happy to carry on and they are putting it on new so here just have a quick look over don't see any queen brood seal brood or oh, another queen cup and this is why we go through is to check but we don't have these. Discover that and another one over here. Nothing down on the ground, is it? No, no I have yeah. found her last year twice on the floor of the hive. Trying to go back. So I do just now, naturally, as I'm picking up, I do have a look. So I'm not too fussed if I do don't see her, but what I will do is so this is the last fr frame. Lots of pollen on this one. So this is the one right by the entrance. So as soon as they're coming in, it looks like they're just depositing. Okay. I am tempted to just take this frame with pollen and put it into the new one. But I'm going to shake off the bees. I said, I'm not too fussed if there's some in there, which are related, if they are related. Put that frame in there with some pollen, and I just want to go back and just check, just check on the floor. Don't see the queen with her white spot being a 2021 queen. Lots of brood there. I may take that if I just make sure I can't see, and some pollen. Just make sure I can't, cannot see the queen. So I do not want to shake her. I would, I'd rather remove her. gently blowing that works normally yeah it's just comb with lots of eggs and things in there again so no so I'm gonna take that over we're putting more here now will you oh, we've got one more mm -hmm. so move that one again over this one so this is a the strongest colony with the queen they obviously are laying this is the one that had some eggs in it Let's make sure there's no queen on this i'll probably do the same Be 
enough, I'll put in here from this, these two grey, these two colonies. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in there at the moment. So I'm going to leave it at that. Put in the device a head can board. And to be honest, I'm not going to do any more frames with this one um, today. I'm not going to do anything with these. I'm just put the um, so and. And that will be all I'm going to do with that, that, that colony today. So move these all back. And again, as with the sister colony that these ones came from, I will add a few frames. So there's four, five, six, seven frames. So I'm going to add, so in total, I'll make sure that they've got their 11 frames in each because, of course, Langstroth tends to have 11 frames. There are a number of bees right up here in the corner in the roof. I'm just checking. Definitely no queen. But again, I'm not going to be too fussed because we do have, if I just twist this, uh, we do have the, the cones where they can actually escape from. I'm just having a look in here. No queen in there. Below. I'm going to move this over for now. We divide. And they will go, but they can actually go underneath this one. Put this back, and I will come back shortly. I won't necessarily do the video showing me putting in um, just some extra frames. But this time I'm going to make sure they're made properly, because they, they hope that other one obviously didn't. Just need a bit of work doing, doing to it. So, put this on. And gently leave it, the bridge down. There you go, ladies. Out you go. That's it. There we go. All done. So that's it. I'm going to put this feed over here. Because I'm going to be putting new comb in there. And we are going to let them do what they do best. Okay, so a bit of a surprise um, for us today. I wasn't expecting to maybe do a quick split. I was hoping there was going to be in this old, um, like I said, the old colony, the first colony. I was hoping there was going to be a, um, some queen cells, but i um, seen, you know, um, over 10 cells. Made it to like quite an, a, a good chance. The weather's outlook is meant to be nice and strong. There's a good nectar flow at the moment. So doing a quick split into this and now, in just over in nine days from one colony to three colonies um, that is pretty much as far as I want to go with um, this home apiary but it means that we have a good chance this year of having some comb and some sort of uh, flow honey as well so got queen in that one we uh, I'm, I know there is a queen even though I didn't see her because I can see so many eggs and I've put a frame of that into this um, colony as well so we've got eggs in there we've got eggs in here no eggs in this one but we've got lots of queen cells so probably by next week we may even start having some um, virgin queens coming out so we will come back next week and we will do another inspection of all three hives and see how they're doing what you will notice is that there's a few more frames in all of these because i'm just going to top them up i'm not going to put any more in this one uh, uh, because there's enough frames for them to draw on but i will put some into that one which is where the queen is because she is growing uh, very quickly but you can see as soon as they are drawing some comb she's laying in those cells these ones are obviously they're not going to do any drawing at the moment but they are uh, sorry no laying because there's no queen but they are drawing the comb and they are putting honey into that so what we want to make sure is that they will be spaced when the queen does come out and she has been fertilized that there is going to be cells that she can actually sort of lay into um, rather than being honey bound so thank you again please if you've enjoyed this um, sort of uh, the third um, shall we say post swarm or the second post swarm um, episode uh, take us to our third colony please do subscribe to our channel um, and we, you can follow what we're doing like it if you've enjoyed watching this video and of course ring that bell um, it all helps us and um, if, especially if you're subscribing so so do come back and we'll keep watching what these uh, ladies are doing goodbye and enjoy your beekeeping <laughs>